to the next topic because this was a little bit surprising. Um, we, we heard about this after the show yesterday. Warrants have been issued for the arrests of New York Giants cornerback DeAndre Baker, who's a Georgia kid, and Seattle Seahawks cornerback Quentin Dunbar, who is a Florida kid, uh, by the Miramar, Florida Police Department, stemming from an incident that occurred on Wednesday, May 13th. Baker has been charged with four counts of armed robbery with a firearm and four counts of aggravated assault with a firearm, while Dunbar has been charged with four counts of armed robbery. And it continues, per the police report, Baker took money and watches from uh, victims with force and was armed with a semi-automatic firearm. (laughs) Dunbar was assisting Baker in taking the money and valuables from attendees at a party in Miramar Broward County. The pair were allegedly hanging at a cookout when an argument ensued, resulting in Baker revealing a semi-automatic firearm. Baker allegedly uh, directed a third member wearing a red mask to shoot a person who entered the party, but the gun was not fired. Thank God. Uh, both Baker and Dunbar are believed to have taken over three timepieces, including an $18,000 Rolex watch and another worth $25,000. Baker and Dunbar also took $7,000 in cash. Two uh, affiants did not see Dunbar with a firearm, but one said the opposite. A spokesperson for the police department there uh, said there have been discussions with at least one of the player's representatives about turning himself in, but neither has done so at this time. So they are both at large. Uh, one witness told... Uh, the police that Baker and Dunbar lost over $70,000 at a party in Miami days earlier uh, on gambling, some from high-stakes card games. Another witness said those involved in the robbery all left in three different vehicles. You're going to love this, by the way. Uh, One a Mercedes-Benz, one a Lamborghini, and one a BMW, which were pre-positioned for immediate departure from the scene of the crime. Uh, So apparently it all started over a gambling dispute. Nobody has been incarcerated as of yet. This is... Absolutely bonkers. Who in their right mind robs a party full of people that you know with a firearm, especially if you are an NFL player? I understand that these guys, you know, with rookie deals and Dunbar just got traded to the Seahawks from the Redskins. You're and gambling like, seventy thousand dollars worth of money that you've lost. You're yes. you're not that's on you, by the way. That's yes. on you. I mean, you're not gonna go up and shoot up a casino. No, like that's that is own you. This whole thing is bananas. What uh, what do we? So, I don't, I can't remember if it was uh, Cecil Hurd or maybe Chris Felica, somebody else that uh that tweeted to Spencer Hall from Banner Society. I don't know how many people keep up with this, but they said, can this retroactively go on the former cup, which was, you know, the college football team that had the most arrests, right? <laughs> so in Georgia. Well, Georgia, since Georgia, those old Tennessee, Tennessee days, Georgia has taken the cup oh, pretty much every oh. year. Now, I found it funny that one kid went to Florida and the other went to Georgia. Like, that was, that was kind of funny. But in, in today's society, it doesn't matter. Like, everybody's friends with everybody. It doesn't matter. Um, but it it is definitely it's definitely something else. Michael said, by the way, uh, uh, I think everybody should be that way. Stay home if you want. But if you're willing to take a risk and go uh, give Americans the freedom of choice, he sounds. Uh, he said, "Sounds like they may be part of that seventy percent we were talking about yesterday." <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Uh, give, give me your thoughts on this. D- tell me. Tell me what you're thinking. Robbing a party that you're a part of it, it is just one of the, I guess, low class things I could ever imagine somebody doing. And robbing people to get money back that you lost in a gamble. Now you and me know we're, we're gamblers. We bet on things. I think. I think a bet is a sacred thing. I truly, truly yes. do. Um, I, I mean, I've, I've said it before. I, I will back when I was struggling for money and in college and betting things that I probably shouldn't have been betting. Like I would have, I would have paid my gambling debts before I would have ever, ever paid my bills. I just, I just believe it's, I was raised by someone who taught me that all you have in this life is your word. And, and if you don't stand behind it, then, then nothing else in the rest of your life matters. I believe I believe betting, gambling, betting, especially betting with people you know. Yes. It's a big part of that. You're not betting with a machine. You're not betting with a computer. You're not betting with a casino. You're betting with people that you know. And if you're not willing to lose that money or you're going to hate them for taking your money, man, you are the definition of a child. Nobody makes you gamble. Like, no, period. If you feel strongly about something and it doesn't turn out, that sucks. Sorry, that sucks. brother. 
Like That's it right. is what it is. We have all lost bets. Yeah. You know, it, it but the fun part is sometimes you win. Like and it, if you're betting money you don't have then that's on you yes. and nobody else. Not the people who you bet with. They shouldn't have let you. Man, I've heard I've heard people tell me that all my life growing up. They shouldn't let them get in a hole like that. No, but man, it ain't you are them. responsible for your own actions. Yes, 100%. Like, that's that's what this whole thing is. So, one, what what do you think the NFL does here? Like obviously, this is this is going to be part of the personal conduct thing, right? And I I think these, but depending on how good these players are, I I think these guys are going to get cut, definitely suspended, definitely. Yeah, now suspended. Dunbar has only been in the in the league one year. Yeah, um, and I and I don't and know not Dunbar, that I sorry, uh, Baker Baker Dunbar and, and has you been know in me league. and cornerbacks. Okay, yeah. unless you've been in the league for several years, it's hard to tell you are you a great cornerback or not. Yeah. Okay. So I got no way to to really evaluate these guys. I'm I'm just telling you, I think they're gonna well because they are pretty pretty young. They're probably not gonna get cut, but they're probably both gonna get suspended. Or do they go on the exemptions ex, the the commissioner's exempt list? How long? I don't know. I don't know any of that. Um, but but they're gonna they're gonna suffer something. Oh, it's something dressed, and they should suffer something from the from the state. By the way, this is not something where oh I'm just gonna get an attorney and I get myself out of this. No, you you rob these people, and these are people you know. These are people. This is not not some stranger down the street or whatever. Yeah. Now they you, do have they, witnesses, but it, it is still currently alleged. Whatever that means, right? Like it's uh, Michael. Okay. By the way, jumped in and said, "Not surprising at all. We had a guy hold up a gas station wearing some goofy ass t shirt and a mask. He came in a couple of days later for an interview wearing the exact same t shirt." I swear to God. Yeah, I, no, I mean these guys aren't Einstein. I do. My, I my do believe... faith in humanity drops every day. It's just remarkable. Ugh. I don't know. My my expectations are pretty low, but <laughs> I try and stay positive, Chris. I, I don't. Swear to I don't. God. I try to be real. I try and stay positive, and I don't it's so shit hard. From anybody really when, when at you, all? When you see crap like this come up, it's just like, what are we even doing? Like, and this is in the middle of a damn quarantine. And I understand Florida is a, a whole different country yeah. at this point. But, like, good God. Like, you got one player that plays for the Giants, the other for the Seahawks. Like, I, I would think that those two parts of the world, these guys would know what's going on, right? But they're not. Like, they don't care. They're quarantining in Florida because Florida's looser. And Florida's just a lot more fun to be at. I mean, if I was... If I had the means to be stuck somewhere, I'd rather be stuck in the beach. Uh, agreed, agreed. Which I looked at beach prices for later on this summer, by the way, just to take yeah. you know my wife and child down, you know, for two three days, whatever, to get away. Beach prices in thirty A right now are astronomical. Yeah, they are yeah. so much more than they typically are. It is stupid. Oh God. Uh, Michael said, "My wife gets on me daily for being jaded and not trusting people." Hey, look, we're on we're on the same boat here. No, like, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm I am I am a complete cynic. I complete, and I get yelled at a lot by it. I mean, yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, we we both we both deal with that from uh from, from our loved ones. It is what it is. I, I was I was raised on it though. My my father doesn't trust anybody. He still refuses to put his credit card in the computer. So, you know, which uh, there's something to be said for that. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, everybody lives a little differently. Everybody lives a little differently. But this whole thing uh, with with Dunbar and with Baker, I'm I'm a little floored. And it should, you know, it should kind of scare us about the NFL season. Because, it, like, it's one thing to not really worry about it. It's another to know that they are all out, you know, partying a, a, a large percentage that's of them all anyway. of these guys in all of these professional sports. I, they are young. They are dumb. They've got money to burn. They, they don't give a shit, man. And if and they then, come back the and hockey get tested, players well, are I, not exempt from this. No, Basketball of course not. players are not exempt from this. But it, it, it does it does make you think what's going to happen when they come back and if, if some of them test positive, what are they going to do? Like and they no, don't have a plan. Not to play. They're not going to kick the whole team out. They're just going to no, say you. No, I'm with you, but go. You, you got to. You don't get paid today. Sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, I understand you. I understand you. Oh my god, it's just ridiculous. Can, I wonder if you could. I mean, you can't find somebody for. Well, no, you wouldn't find them. You just wouldn't pay them. 
Well, if you right. suspend them, then they're they can be. So if the commissioner's exempt list means they got to be paid. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm not talking about these guys. Them. I'm talking about like for players that come back if they test positive for coronavirus. Uh, coronavirus or I, I, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to bet there's something in their contract where if they can find out where they got the coronavirus from and it wasn't a league function thing, they ain't going to pay on their contract. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet that. You miss two weeks, you miss two weeks of pay. Yeah, Hit the bricks. That's crazy. That is, you want to go see that girl? Go on. Get the Rona. <laughs> go yeah. on. Do your thing. <laughs> Hope it was fun. Oh, my God. Okay, let's... Uh, the game checks a lot. This game checks like two hundred some thousand dollars Oh, yeah, it's insane. I mean, it's it, we're, we're talking crazy money. Yeah. For for a lot of these guys, anyway. Yeah, for um, a lot of these guys. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and move on. We'll wrap up with this. 